Here comes the talk of the town. Welcome back to News 12 at 4. I'm joined now by Diana Theol. I want to make sure, Diana Theol. I want yes. to make sure this is the first <laughs> time you and I have met. She's, of course, with the Denison Chamber of Commerce, and we want to thank you so much for being here today. Today is a great day to talk with you, but tomorrow... Tomorrow is, is when day, all Diana. the fun starts, right. yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. What is comprising all the fun? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas, and we have so much going on. Uh, we've been doing our Shop to Win since Black Friday. Okay. We started that. Most of the businesses are downtown that are they're doing the Shop to Win. There's a couple that aren't. Denison Vision Center inside Walmart. Uh, they're doing it as well as Crab Trees is doing it, Amish Furniture. Uh, but the rest of them are all downtown. So tomorrow's the last day you can shop and get those Shop to Win tickets. We're giving away $4,000 in cash and prizes, wow. 22 total prizes. And so you shop all day tomorrow, and tomorrow you can turn in those tickets in Heritage Park. And okay. they have to be turned in by tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Okay. And then we also have uh, the tree lighting. We have Shonda Rain Studio is starting at 5 o'clock. Great. And then 5 at 5.30, I believe. And then the tree lighting is at 6, and Santa Claus will be there. And then starting at 4 o'clock, though, before that, we'll have our hot cocoa kids. Well, let's talk about that a little bit because yes. uh, we were talking, everybody wants to enter the, the contest, but yes. only certain individuals yes. are eligible. Who would they be? You have to be an 8th grader at Scott Middle School, and you have to be a Scott Scholar. Uh -huh. So they start this program in September. They've been training all through September. It's an entrepreneurial training program. Say that three times. Uh, and it's a lot of fun for the kids. They learn everything about marketing and branding, and they have to do a business plan. They have to present to sharks, and tomorrow they get to open up their businesses. They've eat, there's five of them. They have uh, chosen five charities that they are benefiting. So all the funds go to them. Over four years, they've raised $45,000. That's terrific. So that's pretty good. So we're pretty excited about tomorrow. And we know there are a lot of parades and there are a lot of trees, but one thing that strikes me about Texoma generally is people want to stay home. You know, they want to see their tree, uh -huh. their parade. And yes. what makes yours special, do you think? You know, I think a lot of it is just the community itself. Denison is such a special community. We were talking about that earlier today. And, I mean, the entire city just comes together, all the, all the departments. Everybody does. The community comes out and helps. We have the kids that are out there doing their cocoa. People are shopping. The stores are open. People are happy. And then they're bringing their kids down, and they're waiting for Santa Claus, you know, to come down the street. But it's the lights. It's the music. We have two bands this year in the Dude, parade. Great. Yes, we have the Denison High School Band, and then the Bells High School Band will be here as well. Well, that's so we're going to have two marching bands. The parade will start right off at 7. Okay. New this year is we're going all the way from uh, Scullin on Main Street all the way down Main Street to the 100 block. So we'll be turning on Austin. Okay. Yes. Quickly, how much does this all cost? Nothing. It's free. Well, that's the best The answer. cocoa is it. You have to pay for the cocoa. Okay. But, but everything else is free. Diana Theol, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Hope it's a great day tomorrow. Thank you. All right. We'll be back after these words and I think another check of the forecast. Don't forget Toys for Tots.